Hailing from the winter sports mecca of Arlington Heights, Illinois, Steamboat Shannon Dunn Downing has given the sport of snowboarding, as well as all those that her career has touched, much more than she has ever asked in return. A talented figure skater as a child, Dunn Downing became more interested in skiing following her family's move to Steamboat Springs when she was nine. After the resort first permitted snowboards on the slopes in 1987 and inspired by her brother Sean, Shannon became hooked on the up-and-coming new sport. Well, she was a pioneer. It wasn't allowed when we first started and I think she brought it recognition and um, a legitimacy and um, just incredible talent. So something for others to, um, you know, in aspire to be. Following graduation from Steamboat Springs High School, Dunn selected the University of Colorado as her choice for higher education, specifically so she could continue on her snowboarding path. After a short time of attending both classes and snowboard competitions, she dropped out of CU once it became obvious that snowboarding could not only be more than just a fun pastime, but that she could also help the fledgling sport achieve greatness. At that time in particular, you know, it was a chance where this new thing called snowboarding really was getting some, some national attention. You know, we were able to go to ski resorts, uh, equipment was really coming up, and it was just one of those times you could see that there was a change. During the early 1990s, snowboarding was starting to gain more notoriety, and Shannon kept pace, becoming the first woman to do a frontside 540 and a halfpipe competition. This constant progression also enabled her to claim a pair of ISF World Championships in halfpipe, as well as winning back-to-back -back Burton U.S. Open halfpipe titles. It gives me chills because there's, you know, very few professional athletes throughout the, you know, the course of snowboarding's history that have, have done what Shannon has done, you know. So, you know, she was the first Olympic women's medalist, you know, and which is to say she was one of the first U.S. snowboarding medalists. And that's also to say she was one of the first snowboarding medalists ever. So, you know, she's, you know, truly iconic. As Dunn continued to raise her game to the next level, it also became apparent that women in snowboarding were not competing on a level playing field with the men in terms of equipment. So Shannon took it upon herself to use her own credibility and success to help change the industry as a whole. Shannon really did pioneer equipment specific for women. And just that alone, I just feel like, I just remember girls being so inspired by her and entering the sport and feeling like they could make a mark in this sport as well. I just think she really, you know, drew people to the sport and then further inspired them to keep going. And I think so many great girls came after her. In 1994, she began collaborating with her sponsor, Sim Snowboards, to develop the world's first snowboard designed and marketed specifically for women. The success of her pro model would open up a completely new chapter in snowboarding ushering in an era where young girls that wanted to try the sport had a direct path as well as a role model to follow. I think like for, for women's snowboarding specifically, she created an identity. It was progressive for all of snowboarding, not just specifically women's snowboarding, to, to reflect that sort of skate mentality of like having a personality and identity to what your, what your graphic is going to be like, how you're going to represent yourself on your board and what, that, what that's going to look like. In the early to mid 90s, Shannon was responsible for helping companies, even create companies in soft goods that were focused on female riders. And when she came to Burton, it was a match made in heaven. She helped redefine what it meant for women's soft goods and look and fit. Before women were wearing really baggy clothes and kind of drab colors, and Shannon brought femininity to women's soft good design. Shortly after launching the Shannon Dunn Pro model, she turned her attention to technical apparel, seeking to create products that focus directly on women's needs. Working with fellow snowboarder Tina Bosich, the duo created Prom Clothing, the first brand to specifically tailor every aspect of a product to the women's segment of snowboarding. As the sport of snowboarding continued its incredible rise, Dunn Downing discovered that a longtime friend had been diagnosed with breast cancer, and once again, Shannon decided that she could make a difference. With the help of good friends, including Bosich, Lisa Hudson, and Kathleen Gasparini, she co-founded Boarding for Breast Cancer, a nonprofit organization that provides education, prevention, and support for young people using action sports as a platform for outreach. 
co-founding boarding for breast cancer. She literally went out into the field and gave an entire generation of women uh, a new awareness to all of the things that they were, you know, issues they were facing. And she has saved lives in the process. By the late 1990s, snowboarding had become one of the fastest growing sports in the world, and the competitive circuit had grown to include the newly created Winter X Games and the addition of snowboarding to the 1998 Olympic Winter Games in Nagano, Japan. Dundowning continued her domination on these new international stages, winning a gold medal at the Winter X Games in Crested Butte and capturing the bronze medal in halfpipe in Nagano, becoming the first American woman to win an Olympic medal in snowboarding. Shannon retired from competitive snowboarding in the mid-2000s following her marriage to fellow professional snowboarder Dave Downing. She now plays the role of a full-time mom to a pair of boys while still giving time to boarding for breast cancer. Shannon Dunn Downing is a true champion who has been able to push herself and her abilities to the top of the competitive snowboarding world. Needless to say, the sport of snowboarding would not be the same without her valuable contributions and inspired level of riding, which helped to propel all riders, both men and women, to greater heights. Without, uh, without Shannon, snowboarding would never have progressed at the rate that it did, uh, not just on the women's side, but in general. More importantly, however, her contributions to society through breast cancer awareness ensure Shannon's legacy as a true people's champion. It is with a tremendous amount of pride that we welcome Shannon Dundowning to the Colorado Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame this evening as a member of the class of 2016.